Alright, this is Scott back again with a little update on another laptop. We have a Dell Latitude D630 and what do you know, it's another laptop that seems to be overheating. Uh, I hooked it up the same way I hooked up that last Toshiba laptop that we dealt with and so far I'm getting proper results. Uh, the laptop's operating the way it should be. It was just randomly powering off uh, I was trying to reformat the hard drive and reinstall Windows and it wouldn't even let me. It was powering off, you know, within two minutes. Even in BIOS, it would power off, which it rarely should do that. So what I did was I pulled out the battery pack just to be safe because sometimes a bad battery pack can cause shutdowns, but you can detect that it's an overheating issue when it's shutting down a lot and it's shutting down and it's hot you know you just gotta use a little common sense when you're diagnosing and figure it out I tried a bunch of options in bios first before I got to this solution but found out that it was overheating at first I was uh, shutting off dual core mode shutting off a couple uh, processor features running it at a slower uh, processing speed just to see if uh, it was overheating because the processor was bad but it seems the processor's fine, and it's just shutting off and protecting its own, you know, parts, killing the power so it doesn't damage itself. So I hooked up my little battery pack to my 3-cell lithium battery pack, and uh, I got an 80 CFM fan, and it's just duct taped all around it. It doesn't look pretty, but I just got to duct tape it so it vents in there properly. I have the, uh, it's not exhausting. I make it so that the air actually blows into it because its own fan is exhausting and it's spinning properly which which is really weird because it doesn't seem like it should be overheating if their fan is spinning perfectly I mean this laptop uh, has been through quite a bit it's quite a few years old and it's been dropped the, the screen's been replaced uh, the motherboard's been replaced a bunch of the keyboard's been replaced so it's been fiddled with and messed with and it's been around the block but uh... Intel Centrino dual core 2.2 uh, designed for Windows XP. It's got uh, two gigabytes of RAM. It's got an NVIDIA 256 card on it and it's got a 150 gigabyte hard drive I think, 160. It's a fairly nice machine. It's got the Wi-Fi built in and everything else but you know when it's shutting down randomly it's kind of useless. So right now what I'm doing is I'm formatting the hard drive as you can see right here and it's already at 24 percent and I've never gotten it past 11 percent so right now we're getting good results let's see if it'll finish formatting and uh, if it does I'll kick the video back in and give you a little update and see what we can do from here well it looks like uh, the duct tape shroud and the 80 millimeter fan works uh, just about done formatting 94 percent that's a good sign it's never gotten past 11 without putting this fan on here. Tried it a couple times prior to this and uh, it was shutting down. So this seems to have fixed the problem. Let's see if we can load an operating system on here and get some drivers going. I'll uh, give you a little update after that. Battery pack's holding out fine. It's uh, putting out 11.1 .1 nominal volts. It's uh, three lithium cells in series. Just an 80 millimeter fan. Okay, so I got XP and it's uh, loading it on right now, copying files. So far, so good. Uh, everything seems to be running smooth. I haven't had an issue. Nothing's powered off. It's actually running fast, and uh, the f since the format went through, uh, I think it solved the issues that we were having before. I think I loaded a couple of updates on from XP that were uh, faulty, and they weren't letting me change usernames. So this whole thing started because of a bad update. <laughs> we're getting it taken care of and hopefully after we load into Windows we can find out if we can run this computer without the fan and it won't overheat alright so I've been gone for the last seven hours I left this thing running with the fan running off the battery pack and uh, I think it was a little over seven hours to be honest but I came back and uh, I was into the Windows portion of the Windows XP setup and I uh, started filling out the info and now it's copying files everything's still going good and the battery pack's still running the fan no problem 
Okay, everything's running great. Uh, loaded into Windows XP, no problem. Everything's fast. Uh, I just set everything up the way I like it, and I went over to my other computer here and downloaded all of the Dell drivers, and I'm going to put them on a jump drive and load them onto this software. Yeah, this thing is performing great. Uh, I can already tell it's running like a hundred times faster than it was before. It's lightning, lightning fast installing all these drivers. So, uh, it's running tip top. All I, had, all I had to do is reformat it. Okay, I took it off. I got the fan disconnected from the battery pack and I threw away the duct tape shroud. And I have the PC connected to the internet right now and I'm doing Windows XP updates. And uh, so far so good. It's still stable. And uh, if we can get through an hour or so of updates and restart this and install a couple of programs and it's still stable, I think we'll be in good shape. Hopefully it doesn't overheat. Alright, at the moment I'm loading Service Pack 3 for Windows XP. Everything's going good. Fan's been off. I've restarted it a few times. Everything's going great. Still running very fast. It's back to normal. Kicking like it's supposed to. That's a good thing. So, uh, let's see if it'll keep doing it. Well, everything's good. Everything's loaded up. And, uh, I got the fan disconnected. It's been running for a couple of hours. And, uh, just to show you that it's running at peak performance, I'm streaming video off of YouTube right now. Uh, one of my own videos from World of Warcraft and uh, everything's streaming great performance is there hardly using 5 to 10 percent of the computer's resources streaming video Everything's going great. Looks like another success story. Uh, get this back to the customer, all fixed up and ready to go.